right. That was a song called Whip It by Devo. The record came out in 1980. It was on Warner Sire. The name of the album was Freedom of Choice. Whip It went to number 14 on the Billboard charts. Set the world afire. Devo was formed in 1972 in Ohio, and they became new wave sensations. And it set America in a new wave frenzy that to this day is still a testament to their legacy. Devo. Hey guys, what's happening? It's Micah. I'm right here in Hollywood on Selma Avenue, right in front of the record parlor. And this is one of the record parlor owners, Chad Hemus. How you doing, Chad? Good. All right, all right. Thanks for having us tonight. What's going on tonight? Well, Gerald's here. He's uh, sharing his wine with us and sharing a bunch of uh, Devo remixes and unreleased stuff. All right. Yeah. Devo not only introduced Whip It, but it also taught people how to whip it good. So we're invited to the record parlor today. Gerald, the legendary guitar player from Devo, has a new wine out, and we're invited to a private party. He's going to introduce some wine. So come on inside and let's check it out. Hey guys, he's still thirsty here. Um, we're very uh, lucky tonight to be invited to an intimate event. First of all, sir, can you introduce yourself? Oh, I am Jerry from Devo, Gerald V. Casal. Gerald V. Casal. And I make wine now, and my wine brand is called the 50 by 50. This happens to be the rosé. It's made from Pinot Noir. It comes from Sonoma Coast. One single vineyard called Rogers Creek. Can you tell me about uh, wine? Yeah. Why wine? Why not? It's uh, it's one of those things that's um, what's the word? Mercur mercurial and spiritual and physical all at the same time, like music. I mean, can you really? quantify the value of music beyond a point and what it does to a person beyond saying what it costs or whatever. It's kind of got a, a non, almost a metaphysical uh, element. So is wine. Wine's organic, wine keeps changing. Every time you drink it, even if it's the same brand, the same year, it changes with who you're with what you're eating with it, and then the next year comes and nature deals you some crapshoot that you don't know what's going to happen. So it, it's always different. That's why you never get bored. That's why I can play Freedom of Choice a hundred times and not get bored. Well, I've seen you play Freedom of Choice probably about four or five times in my lifetime. Um, and I have to tell anybody that's hasn't seen Devo live. It's it's a rock experience. Heavy, heavy guitars, yes. sound, and which is something you don't really think about when you think of Devo. No. Um, and lots of moving around. We can really deliver. Yeah. We can do. It. Yeah. It's a fantastic live show. Getting back to the wine, the 50 by 50. Right. Um, I was reading, doing a little bit of research, and I uh, was seeing that it's already some of the vintages have already sold out at some of the liquor yeah. stores. That's got to be exciting for you. That was a great thing. I, you know, I, I tested the waters by releasing last year 280 cases of Pinot Noir and 100 cases of uh, Rosé, and you know, I slogged it myself. You know, DIY, do it yourself. Took it around to all the restaurant tours I've met over the years. I took it to my friend Christian Navarro, Wally's, Wally's Wines, and Wally's Vinoteca. Everybody that, you know deigned to, to taste it, liked it, I lucked out. 
They loved it and they all picked it up. So I had it like in eight restaurants and had it always. I had it up north at the Ferry Plaza Wine Merchants. And then some, uh, some businessman from South Korea tasted it. <laughs> and he ordered 40 cases. <laughs> All right. And wiped me out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's exciting. I mean, have you, do you have any relationship with Korea? It's just... Now I do. <laughs> yeah. It's like, thank you, sir. Please try the next vintage. <laughs> Hey guys, um, Gerald? Yes. Gerald, can you just tell me what's happening tonight? Why why are, are we here in uh, the record parlor? Uh, I wanted to put on a tasting for people outside of like a wine store environment and a wine environment. Because wine should be part of culture. In fact, it is. And I thought if I would be spinning old Devo remixes that are rare and other really arcane stuff, in an atmosphere like this, uh, in a vinyl heaven, that the people that would be interested in coming out may like wine, but they're not enophiles or snobs. So I, I, I want to reach out to just the average person who drinks wine. After all, that's what it's about. Right. Yeah, you might win some new fans tonight. Might. I, I wanted to ask you something. Um, I was thinking, um, I'm a big fan of Bloody Marys, mimosas. Oh, yeah. Why not invent, I, is, is there a breakfast wine out there? Why not invent the 50 by 50 breakfast? I think breakfast? breakfast wine, I think it's called champagne. Okay. the rosé first, but uh, this is the famous 50 by 50 Pinot Noir. New vintage just released two months ago. It's uh, 2013. Made from Dijon Pinot Noir clones and 66, no, and the Pomard clones. And guess what the blend is? 50, 50. <laughs> well, I can't wait to taste it. Yeah. Dynamite.
Hey, this is Jerry Casali from Devo, and I'm here for New H Music Lab.